Hey everyone, this is Gwen with the 100 Days of Cloud team. And today I'm going to talk about how to utilize the 100 Days of Cloud ideas list and how you could help us and contribute to this list. And from here, we're just going to fork it. Alrighty, next step I have here is we're going to git clone. So I'm gonna copy this. We're gonna hop back into the official repo and grab the URL here, head back into the terminal, git remote Nashby. And as you can see, we don't have an upstream here. All right, this is going to enable your local repo to stay up to date with whatever changes happen to 100 days of cloud. All right, so back inside of your 100 days of cloud ideas in github.com, there's a little bit of information here, which says how we can contribute to this project. The first bullet list says, you can propose a cloud project by opening a ticket. So let's open that up. Now we have to fill in some information. It looks like we need to provide a category and a provider and a title. So let's go back into the repo and see what categories we have. And you can also submit a category that isn't in here. We would be happy to, to edit, to add, to remove anything really. So feel free to submit whatever you feel is appropriate. All right, so I'm just gonna select one of these in here. Let's see, how about I pick serverless? Let's see. All right, so at the moment there are no Azure projects for serverless. So I'm gonna go ahead and create one of those. And we see serverless is the LES category and then serverless functions is LES01. So that's the first part of the title. So it's LES01 and then AZ for Azure. And then the number that comes after here is going to reflect the difficulty that you think the project will have. And we have 100, 200, 300, and 400. I'm gonna say it's going to be, um, a 200. Alrighty, what I will say is, let's go back to the category. So say you have a project that will fit the serverless category and then the less zero one subcategory, but you think it's the same level and the same provider as this one. So you say you have an AWS project that's a 200. Now you can add another one, just label it as 201, 202, or change those last digits, those last two digits or that last digit in order to make it unique, but we can have several projects on the same difficulty level. So then we can just pretty much remove this because we don't need that anymore. So let me erase these and then calculate the estimated time required to complete this project. I'm gonna say it's probably gonna take about 60 minutes. Submit new issue, perfect. Now the Issue ID, so this number here, we're going to need that for the branch name and for the commit message. So keep that handy. Once an issue is submitted, someone will hop in here and give you any feedback needed, or if we need to apply corrections, we'll do so. Um, but pretty much what happens from here is we'll say, yeah, go ahead and uh, create the pull request uh, with this issue. All right, so back in the 100 days of Cloud Ideas repo, we have a little bit of information on how to best tag your branches and your commits. So you see here, there's an example of branch name, git checkout, your branch, which starts with the ID of the issue and then just the title without the title description in there. And then your commit message is going to include the ID of the issue as well, dash the description of the title. So back in terminal, I'm just gonna clear everything out here. Then I'm gonna say git checkout branch. It is number 66 and then it's less zero one. AZ 200. Just gonna double check, make sure that matches. Check O 23 dead. Yes, perfect. We're gonna hit that there. Awesome. So now all we have to do really is open this up in whichever editor you prefer. I typically use visual code and we'll make some edits in there. All right, so let's first open up the readme and let's open up a markdown viewer extension. Let's get rid of that there. Okay, so obviously this is going to look exactly like what it looks like in GitHub. So first thing we have to do is utilize the project template. If you go into all your files and you go into templates, the project template is this one right here. And there's a little bit more information that you have to fill out. You're gonna have to provide some objectives that the person will need to complete. 
some answers that they need to be able to provide, some references, some documentation, cost. If you can keep this within the free tier, that's great. Um, if it's going to cost some kind of money, try your best to outline that in here too. Estimated time to complete any tips. And then there's just some formatting information at the bottom there. So let's copy the file. Let's go into the project. Make sure you select the correct category and then make sure you select the correct, the correct folder. I'm in less zero one. And then in here, I'm just going to click on paste. And then we're just going to rename this file to be less zero one AZ 100. Make sure that matches the title in the issue as well. And then we can just copy in the title of the issue actually copy this in and we'll just paste it as a project title. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fill in all this information and I will resume this once I'm done. Alrighty. So I filled in everything. I've got my title, uh, difficulty project author. You can link to whatever social media or email that you'd like people to be able to contact you about the project. Some questions that you need to follow, some references that you can utilize, the cost, estimated time to complete, and some tips. I did realize that I named this file incorrectly. It's actually AZ200, so let me change that. All right, open that up. This is the main readme. Now you want to go down to your category. Inside of the category in the table, you need to just add in the project that you just created. Okay, great. So I've added my project into the subcategory table. Just make sure the project code is correct here. This needs to match your file name. The title needs to match the title of the project and make sure you include your author, your name here. And at the bottom, you can make sure to add yourself to the project idea contributors here. All right, so for your commit message, you need to start off with your ID and then the project name. Perfect. All right, so now we just have to push our changes. Okay, so I am now in 100 Days of Cloud Ideas and I'm gonna create a new pull request. And we're gonna compare across forks base, that's fine. And then we're gonna make sure this is mine and select my 66 here. Then I'm just gonna hit create pull request. Create pull request and great. That is pretty much it really. We will have a bunch of volunteers that hop on here and take a look at these. And again, they can create, they can create edits in your, um, in your project, if there are any typos or, or, or formatting issues, we're really just trying to streamline it and, and make it as frictionless as possible in order to get as many projects as we can add it to this. And okay, that's it for me. I will see you in the next video.